I want to thank all of them for coming. I know many of you have come many, many times, and the organizers of this event, we want to thank you. Uh, my name is Mark Keem. I have the honor of representing many of you and uh, lots and lots of other Virginians in the General Assembly in the House in a district that encompasses Tyson's, Vienna, Oakton, Dunloring area. And I have the pleasure of having come to this uh, festival every year since it's been here, as well as many, many other Pakistani festivals. But let me start, start first by uh, congratulating all of you on your Independence Day. Even though we're a couple of weeks after the festivities of uh, August uh, 14th, I want to celebrate with you because freedom and independence shouldn't be celebrated just one day. It should be something that we celebrate every single day of our lives. Now, I'm going to dare to say that not many of you in this audience today, not many of you out there, were in Pakistan on August 15th of 1947, August 14th when we became the independent uh, state. I bet you not many of you were there yourselves because many of you are so young. But I know that your parents, your grandparents, and many others in your family and your relatives were there, and they were instrumental in bringing independence to Pakistan, freedom not only from the uh, foreign oppressions, but also from religious intolerance that you had to face. And so the fact that Pakistan became independent is not only thanks to you, but to your parents, and to your parents' parents' generation, and all those who believed in your right for self-determination and independence. Now, just because we weren't there, that generation, doesn't mean that we can ignore something that happened back then. Because one thing we've learned in history, and I know as a Korean immigrant myself, which, by the way, celebrates our independence August 15th. And there's the, it's, a, it's not a coincidence. It was planned to be on the same day, August 14th, August 15th, because we want to celebrate our independence together. But as a Korean immigrant, I'll tell you, the reason why we cannot forget what your parents and your grandparents did is because independence and freedom and the liberation that we enjoy right here and the religious freedom that we enjoy here was thanks to their vision. But we're not going to stop at our generation. We have to ensure that the next generation receives the same rights, same liberties that you and I have enjoyed. And the best way in America to do that, especially as immigrants and people like us who came from another country, the best way to do that is to exercise your right to vote. So if you are a U.S. citizen already, please make sure you're registered to vote. Come out and vote this November. And if you are not and you're eligible to be a, a U.S. citizen, please become one as soon as possible. Because if there's one thing we've learned, freedom is not free. And your liberties can be taken away by somebody just because they don't like the way you look. And we've seen and heard the rhetoric from across the Potomac. There are lots of people in Washington, D.C. that want to take yours and my rights away from us. The only way we protect that is to become U.S. citizens and they cannot take that right away. So I urge all of you to get out there, become U.S. citizens, get registered to vote and exercise your vote. And you have some wonderful candidates here who you can have a chance to vote this year, starting with my good friend, uh, State Senator uh, Jennifer Rexon, who is here as well. So I want to thank you for your time. And I'm going to turn this over to uh, Jeremy McPike, who is a state senator from Prince William. And he's going to introduce our special guest as well. Come on over. Thank you, Mark. Hello, Virginia. Salam alaikum. I see so many friendly faces out here today. It's great to be back. If you live in Prince William County, Manassas, Manassas Park, please reach out. I represent much of that area. I'm here to help serve our community. And much like you, I'm focused on my three girls and our kids' future. And so we need to make sure that we have every opportunity for every single kid. Now, I'd like the rhetoric in Washington, but every single kid has an opportunity. We've got to continue for, to fight for that. And as a Democrat, you better believe I'm stepping up and fighting for that every single day. I've got some great friends. You've already heard from Dr. Barbara Latif, who we need to elect as our school board chair again this November. I need your help if you're in Prince William County. Come out and help Barbara succeed as a leader in Prince William County. And you'll hear from a moment a colleague of mine in the state Senate, Jennifer Wexton, who has been a champion and a fighter for us. And we need to elect to Congress. You're going to hear from her in just a minute. As Delegate Keem said, exercise your right. Exercise your voice and muscle and vote and get your friends and family. That's how we make change. That's how we make a difference. Please reach out to me anytime. God bless. Happy Independence Day, Pakistan. Anand. Thank you, Senator McPike. Another round of applause for Senator McPike. We are so fortunate to have so many dignitaries come over here and celebrate a special day with us. I also want to recognize all of my Pakistani Americans who are right there under that tree line taking advantage of the shade over there. Hello, Pakistani Americans back there. 